beautiful people in today's quick tip video i am going to show you how to make it a little bit easier to see your cursor it's a little bit of a hack to be honest um photoshop at, unfortunately at this current moment does not have anything useful to help you see your cursor so now where this becomes really useful so as you can see i'm um, on the dark areas i can see the cursor on the light areas i can see the cursor it's because photoshop has a one pixel white ring and a one pixel black ring but because of the way our eyes work, when we take the one pixel white and the one pixel black, see, you can see it on black and white. But when we put that on gray, where did my cursor go? If you've lost your cursor on your image and you have no idea where you're actually pointing, here's what we're going to do. Let's get straight into it. So what you're going to do, okay, I'm currently using a Mac. But, and I can't, honestly can't remember where to find the preferences dialog in Windows. I think it was under edit in Windows. But basically you want to go into your preferences. You can just select general for now. Or press command K or control K on a Windows machine. Go down to cursors. All right. And keep all of this the same. So normal brush tip, keep that fine. You don't need to worry about the brush preview. But for other cursors, instead of saying standard, say precise. All right. And then you get that. And this is where the hack comes in. So click OK. When I am on gray and I can't see my cursor, all I have to do is press option. And suddenly I can see exactly where my cursor is. OK, then, you know, once you find your cursor, you can always just let go of option and carry on as if nothing's, you know, nothing's happened. So if I hold option, obviously this brings up the color selector, color picker thing, right? Which is not what we want to do. Um, so it's just a like I say, it's a hacky way to, if you've lost your cursor and you don't know where the hell it is, then yeah, just press option and then you can see it on any, on gray, on black, on white, it's all visible. So yeah, guys, I hope that helps you until Adobe one day fixes this problem for us and I will see you in the next video. Okay, cheers, bye-bye.